Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Joel Rosen and I want to welcome you back to another edition of Your Adrenal Fix. Today I wanted to talk to you about pH balance, mineral density, acidity in the body, and how that has to relate to your adrenal glands. So basically the adrenal glands are the stress organs of the body. So if we have stress, obviously it will secrete cortisol and cortisol will help reduce inflammation or help get sugar uh, mobilized into the bloodstream to deal with the extra energy demands that we need. And also what it does is it secretes mineral corticoids. And what mineral corticoids do is they help um, mobilize minerals into the body so that they can be used for biochemical reactions. And so one of the things that we like to do is we like to test people's morning pH and it should be between 6.6 .6 to 7.0 ideally. However, when we have a lot of acidity in the body, we are 4.5 to 6.5. And the reason we are is because we have toxic elements in the body. So we can have heavy metal toxicities from cadmium, lead, aluminum, uh, mercury, so many other things. Actually, myself had tested for antimony of all things. What's antimony? Antimony is in batteries. And as a kid, I would get those 9-volt batteries and I would put my tongue on them just to get that little zap to see if it was still uh, had juice in it or not. And it turns out that that was very toxic to me. And I'm still trying to pull those out of my body. Um, also, things like viruses, parasites, uh, molds, candida, fungus, uh, uh, bacterias, all of these cause a lot of toxicity in the body. And what that will do is that will make us uh, uh, more pH uh, negative, meaning our, we will be more acidic because of these toxicities. And so if we are more acidic, the body naturally tries to buffer the, the blood from its pH uh, drop or the two acidity by leaching minerals out of the bone. And who is responsible for that is the adrenal glands in part. There's other tissues and organs and hormones that help play a role, but the adrenal glands will secrete their mineral corticoids to help mobilize the minerals out of the bone to balance the pH. So what should you do? First of all, I like these pH strips. And in the back of these pH strips, you can see the different colors of um, what it should be between um, here is 6.25 and then here is 7.0. And so what I'll tell my patients to do is I'll say, okay, take out one of the strips and after, with your first morning pee, um, pee into a cup and then hold the strip in there for 15 seconds. And what you should see is you should see it go into a color of 6.5 to 7.0. And if it is, then you're in an optimal pH. Um, if it's lower than that, you'll see mostly like a dirty brownish type of color and you'll know that your pH is way too low. So what are some of the things that are going to cause your pH to be too low? Um, I've mentioned it several times. It's gum infections, teeth infections, um, caries, bacteria, gingivitis, um, viruses, those are the things that I just mentioned. They're going to drag you down. So what can you do to help? What are some of the things that you can do? I've been getting a little bit of uh, constructive feedback on to, hey, your videos are great, but we want to be able to, to do something directly. So first thing is go out and get some pH strips. These ones are called um, pH ion balance. Um, I do believe I got these from Premier Research Labs, but you can get them anywhere. Um, and it has to be your morning urine, not your saliva. The other thing I like is these things called these ionic mineral drops. They're from a company called, um, what are they, Immunologics. I use them. Uh, they're really good. And, and then another thing we use is called the pH Trio. And the pH Trio is the Aloe Pro, which is an aloe vera juice. It's the D3 Serum from PRL. And then it's these Coral Legend, which is minerals. And these are actually minerals from the ocean from Sango Mineral Coral, Coral. So those are natural occurring mineral. So I really like those. Um, another thing that I use is I will use these neem oil and neem bark. And what I'll do with these neem oils and neem bark is they're from PRL. I'll make um, a little, uh, like a little paste 
like a little tar and then you put that on your tooth or your suspected dental carry at night and what that will do is that will help reduce the infection and it's also been told that it will decrease the pocket sizes you know when you go to the dentist and you say you have a big pocket in between this tooth and this gum then that will help reduce that and so what your goal to do is to get into 6.6 .6 to 7.0 how do you know if you don't do your pH and measure it, that you have a problem well particularly your adrenal glands are going to be exhausted you're going to be fatigued, you're going to have brain fog, you're not going to wake up with a lot of energy, you're going to crash throughout the day, and um, potentially you get racy, jittery, anxiety when a stressor is um, is going on, and that's a big problem. The other thing you'll know is, is that if your bone mineral density has been diminished, um, bone mineral activity is one of the main um, biochemical or bio... Um, uh, yeah, physiological reaction that requires day-to-day -day replenishment. So we have these toxicities, and we have the the ability to balance the pH in our in our blood by leaching the minerals out of the bone, and we have to do that on a daily daily basis. So I'll see a lot of patients that they're osteopenic or osteoporotic, and the reason they are is because they have a lot of toxicities, and then they're just being put on a calcium or or some kind of you know, Fosamax or something that's going to help increase their bone density. But meanwhile, no one is looking at the causes and the causes being these toxicities in their body. And the same thing with adrenal gland deficiency. It's not so much a um, just take this pill and, and we can get those adrenals back, but it's a matter of fixing what's causing these stressors in the first place. So hopefully I put a little bit of dots together for you today. Your pH is very, very important. No one's measuring it. You can measure it with pH strips. Make sure you're between 6.6 six and seven point zero if you're not you're too low then you need to start to try to do things to balance your acidity in your body which are your toxicities try to identify which your toxicities are and put a clan together to, to get them another get them up another problem is is if you're above seven point zero then you're too alkaline and that t that could be a real surgical emergency so you got to get um, checked out on that or at least a an emergency not surgery but an emergency intervention and but we don't see that too often and um, and that's not a problem that we see with a lot of people that have adrenal gland dysfunction. So hopefully you found this video interesting and maybe a couple light bulbs went off. I want you to give me a share, a like, a comment, and be sure to check out my blog at Adrenal Fatigue Society. And I look forward to helping you in your adrenal gland recovery. Thank you so much.